Today is the 7th of February, 2011. The time is now about uh, 10.30 a.m. And um, I'm about to allow you to sit in on my prayer time so you see kind of the stuff that I listen to when it's just me alone. The audio you're about to hear is not mine. It comes from freecdtracks.com. And um, I hope you enjoy. God bless. Chapter 2, verses 3 and 4, 2 Timothy. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No man that war entangles himself with the affairs of this life that he may please him who has chosen him to be a soldier. We're in a war tonight. We're soldiers. Both old Timothy, you've got to learn to endure hardness as a real soldier. A lot of the theology you hear preached today is a cheap grace sold on the marketplace of religion. They'll try to tell you that if you've got any problems, it just means you're out of the will of God. I'm here to tell you, if you're not having problems, you're outside the will of God. And I want to tell you tonight that if you are a soldier, whether it be a soldier in the army of Uncle Sam, or whether it be a soldier in the army of the Lord Jesus Christ, you must be found faithful. I said, you must be found faithful. Our, our evangelists talked about that last night. God is looking for faithfulness. You hear me? God is looking for faithfulness. You can't have soldiers that are unfaithful. I was in the war, World War II, in war with Japan. They had ever caught me in the camp of the enemy, shooting crap with the Japanese. I'd have been hung from a coconut tree. Yet there's a lot of people in this tent tonight. You claim to be Christian, but you play with the world. That's an enemy of God. Man or a woman that belongs to God is going to dress decent and they're going to go to the right places. But a wrong dress and a wrong attitude is only a product of worldliness. Worldliness is in a certain look. A worldly person is a person that's influenced by that system. I got people in the church at Beaumont. They don't show up on a Sunday morning. They say because grandma come to see me and she's not saved. Or I gotta go to work early tonight. Or a thousand other things. How about people that were choir directors that give up the choir because their business got too big. I said you're going to hell as much as if it drank liquor. You are influenced by our system. That makes you a world. Any costume kids, yes sir, they grew up in our churches. You know what is wrong? They grew up in an atmosphere in the church that gave the world some soft of sophistication. They made their kids believe that the world really wasn't its enemy. Just a misunderstood friend. We had picked the singers from Nashville, Las Vegas, and Hollywood. Let them sing in the pulpit on a Sunday, sing in Las Vegas on a Monday, then wonder what's wrong with our kids. They didn't know who the real enemy was. They never knew. That world's no friend of grace to lead us to God. Amen. The whole effort of it is to destroy us. God said, if you love the world, then you hate God. I said, if you love the world, then you are an enemy of God. That's what this book says. You hear me? I'm talking about faithfulness. Faithfulness is a commitment to a cause. I must first recognize that I serve a cause that's bigger than I am. I belong to God. I want to walk like a Christian. I want to be what God wants me to be. I want to be faithful to the Almighty God. I want to tell you something, young people.